Um, so I'm just going to show some pattern. So starting from in reverse Ella Kiva and how I'm going to deal with this hook pretty much and get to my knee cut pants. So first of all, what I'm looking at, I need to address this near side hook. If I keep going forward here, then Rosa can start to invert underneath, get to my back. There's lots of options here. See, to make sure I'm keeping my uh, my, uh, like my tripoding leg back nice and far away from her so she can't catch onto that grip because she still has this shin in the way. It's a different story if I have the inside control now because if she tries to reach for it, I have really easy access to her head. Okay, so she still has this in my way. So I'm just going to anchor onto her shin here with my far arm. And this hand, if her hands are like framing her face to protect her head, I'm just going to swivel my hand on the inside and look to pin this wrist. Okay. Uh, reason being, if I pin this wrist now, she can't really uh, extend her body too far away from me. If I'm here and I don't have that control, she can arch away and now it's really difficult to get any sort of control over her head. Okay. So I'm here, I try and catch the head, I swivel my hand to the inside and I just use my C grip to sort of staple her hand to the mat here and I can put a lot of pressure through with a locked out arm. So I'm still maintaining this grip on the, the top shin. What I'm going to do to get rid of this uh, reverse delic heaver hook is use my back leg to unravel this. So I'm going to lean my weight uh, through this posted arm and I'm going to take my back leg and I'm just going to bring it on top of her knee here. So this leg is going to go from uh, facing inwards, driving into the knee cut. It's going to uh, look towards the ceiling as I bring my back leg in to staple. So I pin through, I'm anchoring onto these two grips, I bring my back leg in, the fold is off, and now I'm just going to take this, bag, uh, this back leg out nice and wide. So I'm going to do a big step back, and now when I come back in, I'm going to look to pull this away from my body in order to get access to this underhook here. So she's got the reverse down heaver in, I'm going to hold onto the shin first so I can keep control of this leg, I know where it is, and now I'm going to look to control this near side arm, so I look to catch the head in case she's defending well. I swivel the hand to the inside and then I post through. Once I'm here, I'm just gonna take this back leg, fold over the knee, so I step in a little bit tighter. Okay, and narrow my base just for a moment. Bring it in, fold. Okay, turning my hips towards Rose's hips. It's gonna be a big back step here. Once I'm here now, I'm gonna to pull this away from the body. And I'm gonna bring my chest in front of her, in front of her knee here. Okay, so as I come back in, I fold through that gap and my knee's going from pointing outwards, okay, from uh, being in here driving and heavy, it's going to go all the way through and I replace that pressure with my hip instead. So I pin, unravel the hook, back step out, so now when I re-enter into that knee cut position, I'm re-entering without that hook and I bring my armpit over her knee line, now I've got my under hook, okay, if you keep turning it towards me. Now I can shoot this up a little bit deeper and I can transition my grip from pinning to catching the head. So just one more time. I'm here. I come into the reverse Dalekiba, okay? Just being careful not to go too far forward where she can invert underneath. Okay, not to get too hungry and driving in too much. So I keep my weight back on the hips. Pin this wrist first. I've got my two anchoring grips. Switch this leg in to unravel. Once I get to here, I'm going heavy with my shoulder and then I switch it into a deeper underhook, nice and high on that diagonal. Once I'm here, you can maintain this grip. Maybe you can look to staple it as you pass. Or you can switch to head control and fold through. Okay, ever happy? <laughs> One, two, three. <laughs> okay. <laughs>